Good afternoon, Corysites, and welcome back to an update video. Yes, it's been a while, uh, but the weather over the winter has been awful. But now it's June, and summer has arrived with a vengeance. The ground is dried out, we've got machines back on site, and I've got new toys. So, an aerial shot or two of the um, Southern Extension to show you the, uh, the the extent of the work so far, where how far it's got to go up and what's going on. Um, they're clearing some of the material off the lower parts of the site at the moment. But you can see the gabion wall and you can see all the fill at the back. And hopefully you can see just in the top right hand corner the level of the road which is where we are going to be building the embankment up to. So it will come up um, from where the van is parked and keep tipping and keep building the embankment out until we've got a shelf alongside the road. And as you follow along you can see in the distance there a grey pile of, of tipped waste that's slightly beyond the culvert is a, another big piece of work which is the next phase of the extension that needs doing. The culvert needs extending out so that there's width across the top to carry the railway. And then there's the grey slate material beyond it which has been tipped a while ago. As material becomes available, obviously, we try and take advantage of it as, as soon as we can and uh, build up. So this is the culvert that is going to need to be uh, widened out. brought out towards where the uh, camera currently is and then just over these trees you'll be able to see the line of the original formation alongside the road in the centre of the frame there um, and that's where we rejoin it so that's the limit of the works from from there round to the top of the whole road that you can see by the trees on the left. Here you get a, a lovely view of the valley, Dillas Valley, and you can see the engine sheds, the Mice Boys engine carriage sheds there in the distance, now just disappearing behind the trees. Lots of traffic on the road today. Lots of holiday makers in the area. So I hope that gives you an overview of the site. In other news, we're open for passengers again. If you've not already heard, um, we are taking bookings on the website chorus.co.uk um, and we are fulfilling some of our pre-booked railway for a day um, bookings which are obviously got cancelled last year and this was uh, taken on the uh, the one that we ran last Saturday uh, the railway is available for you to uh, uh, to book and to come. We like a maximum of six people, but details are all on the website, and you can come and drive whichever locomotives you want. You can be a guard. You can all leave us in the signal box. Um, as you're probably aware, we have a steam locomotive. We have a number of diesel locomotives, all of different 
pipes and we have battery electric locomotive locomotive number nine the little yellow one there in the entrance of the carriage shed that you can see but also as I say passenger services are recommencing we are running passenger services on Sundays we are running three trains a day you must pre-book and we've had very very good passenger loadings so far this year and fortunately we've had good weather as well which always makes it uh, more pleasurable but please do come and visit Chorus thank you